हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ऑल इन सुश्रुत रायजादे ऑफिशियल चैनल माय सेल्फ एस बी रायजादे लेक्चरर के के वाक पॉलिटेक्निक नासिक इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द डिजाइन ऑफ गेज देर आर फ्यू स्टेप्स टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम ऑन अ गो एंड नो गो गेज मीन्स हाउ टू डिजाइन द गेज फर्स्ट स्टेप इज first step is find the upper limit of a given component then second step is find the lower limit then calculate the work tolerance this is the third step and work tolerance can be calculated by difference between the upper limit and lower limit these are the three steps again next fourth step is calculate the gauge maker tolerance and wear tolerance if the tolerances are given in the problem or uh, we have known the value of tolerances then take it otherwise you can calculate it by using this formula gauge maker's tolerance is equal to 10% of work tolerance and for wear allowance which is equal to 10% of gauge maker's tolerance this is the fourth step then fifth step to solve the problem is calculate the size of go gauge and no go gauge for a hole the size of go gauge equal to lower limit plus wear allowance size of no go gauge equal to upper limit then for a shaft size of go gauge equal to upper limit minus wear allowance here you can see for hole lower limit plus wear allowance and for shaft the upper limit minus wear allowance and size of no go gauge for shaft is equal to lower limit for a hole it is upper limit and for shaft it is lower limit sixth step is design a gauge either based on unilateral or bilateral system of tolerance if we have to design the gauge we should know the whether we have to use unilateral system or bilateral system and if you are going to solve the problems then the uh, data is given the whether you have to use a unilateral or bilateral system these are the steps let us see the ne uh, problem on a design of gauge Le here i am reading the problem design a gauge for the shaft shaft of dimension 85 plus or minus 0.02 plus or minus 0.02 mm diameter and we are allowance as a 10% of work tolerance find the dimensions of a gauge if a unilateral system is used here you can see the unilateral system is to be used for design a gauge so solve this problem according to the steps which we have seen the first step is find the upper limit of the shaft how to find upper limit we have given the dimension 85 plus plus or minus 0.02 so upper limit is 85 plus 0.02 equal to 85.02 mm second step is find the lower limit same lower limit equal to 85 minus 0.02 which is equal to 84.98 third step is calculate the work tolerance work tolerance equal to we have a formula upper limit minus lower limit upper limit is 85.02 and lower limit is 84.98 so the difference between the upper limit and lower limit is 0.04 which is nothing but work tolerance now fourth step is find the gauge maker's tolerance and wear tolerance here in the problem you can see we have given the wear allowance as a 10% of work tolerance wear allowance is given as a 10% of work tolerance and about a gauge maker tolerance it is not given so i have taken the 10% of work tolerance therefore equal to 10% means 10 upon 100 into 0.04 equal to 0.004 
we are tolerance or we are allowance equal to 10% of work tolerance this is given in the problem as given in the problem 10% of work tolerance therefore 10 upon 100 into 0 0.04 0 0.004 mm now fifth step calculate the size of go gauge and no go gauge here in this step we are going to find the size of the go gauge not at limits the size of the go gauge therefore size of go gauge for a shaft we have to design a shaft therefore for shaft you have to use therefore size of go gauge is upper limit minus wear allowance this formula we have seen in the steps steps to be solved so upper limit is a 85.02 minus 0 0.004 wear allowance wear allowance is 0 0.004 here we have calculated it so the difference is 85.016 mm and size of no go gauge is equal to lower limit lower limit we have calculated which is 84.98 mm now last step step 6 design a gauge for go gauge size equal to 85.016 and tolerance is 0.004 mm so limits for go gauge equal to 85.016 plus 0 0.00 and minus 0 0.004 how it comes we will see in the next slide then for no go gauge size equal to 84.98 and tolerance is 0 0.004 mm again so limits of no go gauge is 85.016 plus 0 0.004 minus 0 0.000 now how it comes here see in this image the wear allowance is provided for the go gauge because go gauge passing through the hole therefore it makes a friction so there may be a chances of wearing for that purpose the wear allowance is provided to the go gauge and no go gauge does not pass through the hole therefore and it checks only external features therefore wear allowance is not required for the no go gauge okay now we are uh, we are shown here the upper limit and lower limit that means we are now showing this image in between the work tolerance of the shaft that is 0 0.04 this upper limit this upper limit and lower limit we have calculated in a previous slide previous steps that is 85.02 and 84.98 we have to design a gauge for a shaft 85 plus or minus 0 0.02 therefore work tolerance is a 0 0.04 now go gauge is corresponding to the minimum a maximum limit of a shaft okay go gauge is corresponding to the maximum limit of shaft therefore we have to consider 85.016 uh, we have to consider 85.02 but we are applying a wear allowance therefore we have to minus wear allowance from 85.02 therefore we get the 85.016 okay now the dimension for the go gauge are specified with respect to the 85.016 okay so we have to add the tolerance therefore add or subtract the tolerance so if we add the tolerance then it will goes towards the upper limit therefore we have to minus it and therefore we got the 85.012 so tolerance is equal to 0. 004 okay this is the tolerance of go gauge and also tolerance for no go gauge is also 0 0.04 but no go gauge is corresponding to the minimum limit of a shaft therefore we we are directly shown the limits of a no go gauge to the lower limit that is 84.98 and the dimension for no go gauge are specified with respect to the 84.98 okay therefore 84.98 plus 0 0.00 and plus 84.04 uh, 0.004 okay 
here we have added the 0.004 that is tolerance of no go gauge 0.004 okay and here we have written the minus 0.0000 because 84.98 that is no go gauge is corresponding to the lower limit and here wear allowance is not provided because it doesn't required wear allowance for the no go gauge this is what the allocation of tolerances for the go gauge and no go gauge thank you